And now for the ever popular Thompson submachine gun, otherwise known as a Tommy gun. We've got two 260s. I've chosen a black and a gray. Each with about five or six inches uninflated on the ends and then a gray 260 blown up a little more than halfway. We're going to start with our black. Start by making about a four or so inch bubble. This is going to be the hand grip. And then we're going to make two small round bubbles that will each be kind of pinch twist. So there's our first. There's our second. So we've got two pinch twists there. Now we need to make our stock. So make about a four inch bubble there, followed by another pinch twist. About a two and a half to three inch bubble, followed by another pinch twist. And then for the last part of our stock to make it sort of stick back, I'm going to make this one slightly longer than that one there. So, where you get sort of, um, you can see how it makes a 90 over here. And lock that in. Now we want to make a very small spacer bubble, maybe a half inch, three quarters of an inch, followed by two more pinch twists. There's our first pinch twist. There's our second pinch twist. And we're going to skip across and make about a two inch bubble there, followed by two more pinch twists. This is where our trigger guard is going to jump across. And then we're going to go out to about a two and a half to three inch bubble and make one final pinch twist out on the end here. And any excess that you have, pop it off. And I'm going to tie that since there's a solitary pinch twist, I don't have anything to secure it into. So we'll just do that. Because it may pop off, we'll put it back in a minute. Not to worry. We're going to set that aside now. Grab your gray 260. Start by making a tulip twist on the end. And then we're going to make two small pinch twists behind it to lock it in place. Like that. We'll get our barrel. Now the Tommy gun has a relatively short barrel. So I'm assuming that you've got your pinch twist still in the end there. You don't want it to stick out very far past the end of this. So however much you want to stick out, come in, twist off the end of your barrel there. And then we're going to put a single pinch twist there. Now what we need to do is make a little short spacer bubble. And this does not need to be very big at all. As you can see that's maybe a half an inch. And I'm going to go ahead and make a fold twist here. That's when it's folded it's a little wider than my hand, maybe four and a half, five inches. So we're going to lock that in place. And then we're going to make one more of those little small, you can see I've got the two spacer bubbles, and I'm going to bring this part after up, there's the fold, there's the second spacer bubble, twist that point back into the pinch twist over here. Now your fold twist may want to come undone, so you may want to have to hang on to that. Now we're going to come back over here. What we need to do is put our pinch twist, I'm going to set that down back in the end of our black here. Now once you've got your pinch twist, we're going to take our fold twist that just came undone. I was mentioned that it probably would. Put that little spacer bubble back. This is where it can get fun. And our fold twist with my two spacers right back up in there. Set that down. Now I'm going to be wrestling with these for the rest of the day. Okay, there we go. And then I'll get my fold and my two spacers. And then where the at the base of the fold, I'm going to twist that into that pinch twist on the end of my black one there. To lock that in place. There we go. Now we're back in shape. Now what we want to do is we're going to come back and we need a bubble the same size as this one here. And then we're going to put two pinch twists in our gray. So make your first little round. Make it a pinch twist. Second one. I've got a pinch twist as well. And then we're going to come back. We've got that bubble, our two pinch twists. Now we need another bubble the same size as this one in our gray. We we'll come in and make a, pin, a bubble there, same size. And then make 
a single pinch twist here, just like that. So now you've got a single pinch twist. And then we need a little small spacer bubble, but we're not gonna come down to this. It's gonna angle back and hook up here where our stock is. So we're gonna make the bubble a little bit smaller, about three quarters of an inch there. And we're gonna bring that back and it's gonna attach it where this triangle is where our stock begins. So just put that one into there, like that. Any excess that you have in that gray, go ahead and remove it. Secure the end. So now we've got that. Now we're gonna take our 160, and we're gonna start by taking the nozzle and twist it into the gray up here. We're gonna, let me tell you where we're gonna go and then we'll do it. We're gonna attach it into this single pinch twist here, make a little spacer bubble down to these two pinch twists in the black, make a trigger guard, connect them to these two pinch twists, and another small spacer bubble that will pull this down snugly against that to go into those two there. So now that you know where we're gonna go, let's do it. Take your nozzle, twist it in around the single pinch twist there, and then make your little small spacer bubble, and you want that small so it pulls it snug, and then twist into two pinch twists there on the black. Then you're gonna make the trigger guard, and then just make a loop, however big you want it, and then jump across to the next set of pinch twists on the black, just like that. So now you've got your trigger guard there, and then we need one more spacer bubble that's gonna go from here up to there, to pull that down and hold it snug. And again, this needs to be very small. I'll pull that up right up there. Twist it around those two pinch twists really good. Remove any excess. Straighten it all up. And there you have our Tommy gun.